gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I have asked you previously to do these four problems, same four problems we did on an assignment yesterday. I want to go over them quickly, record it, and put it on the tube of you. You should have done these problems, so if you have done these problems, you're in your seat and watching me as we go over them. Thank you, sir. Um, we started with two-digit by one-digit numbers. Probably tomorrow, we're going to multiply with two-digit factors. So two-digit times two-digit, which is as much as you are t uh, required to know in fourth grade. So we're still doing review on the multiplication, but we're going to get to three-digit by two-digit. Stop crying, Adam. I promise we'll get there. You just have to be patient. Yeah. All right. I understand. So we have 23 multiplied by 5. As I said, when we're doing multiplication, all you have to know is your 0 through 9s, or actually 1 through 9s. That's it. If you know your 1 through 9s, it doesn't matter how big the factors are. If you don't know your 1 through 9s, you've got the multiplication chart, and we're working through the Steve Y. Borney course, and he's going to teach us the 1 through 9s. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we have 23 times 5. Uh, Michael K., what is 5 times 3? It is 15. So I have 15 ones. Or 5 ones and 1 ten still equals 15 ones. Same value. Michael K., what is 5 times 2? It is 10. 10. So I have 10 tens. Plus the other 10 here means I have 11 tens, which makes my product, product is the answer to a multiplication problem, my product 115. Boom! 43 multiplied by 8. Um, who remembers what these numbers are called? Factors. Factors, thank you. These numbers are factors. And the answer is called a product. Good, you guys are listening. I'm so proud. All right, so we go with, and again, use your multiplication chart, use your fingers, whatever you need, because those are all tools. 8 times 3 is? 24. 24. So I have 24 ones or two tens and four ones. Eight times four is? 32 plus two more? 34. So 43 times eight is 344. That's the product of these two factors. Hopefully you're getting these correct as you're watching. Because again, these are all review from the grade of four. We are now in the grade of five. You've got to take ownership. If you're still struggling with this, take ownership and practice it. I'm having tutorials today after school. It's going to be reviewing some of the things we did on unit two. If you are still struggling with all that decimal stuff, I'm going to record it. If you can't come to tutorials, I'm going to record it. But if you're struggling with it, take some ownership and watch the, the tutorial video. That's what I'm saying. And 9 multiplied by 8 is what? 72. 72 ones. Or 2 ones and 7 tens. 9 times 7 is? 63. Plus 7 more? 70. 70. So I have 70 tens. Or 7 hundreds and 0 tens. I don't carry around 70 tens. That's crazy. Crazy. Crazy for feeling about you. 82 times 6. What are these two numbers called? Factors. Factors. What's the answer to a multiplication problem called? Product. 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 All right. 6 ones times 2 ones is? 12. 12. Or 2 ones and 110. 6 times 8 is? 48. Plus one more? 49. 49. I don't want to carry 49 $10 bills around. So I'm going to change it in for 400s and 910s. So we get 492. If you struggled with multiplying two digit by one digit, I need you to practice. You can practice at home. You can bring it to me. We'll go through them together. But you got to practice if you're not getting this because tomorrow we're moving on to bigger factors. Boom! Shaka laka peace out. God bless. Love you. Do something kind today. Save the bees and please subscribe so I can become rich and famous! Okay.